Pretty much anyone from any era since the silent generation can recall watching The Wizard of Oz. They can probably sing at least a few lines of most of the songs from the classic fantasy flick, too. There are tons of rumors swirling around the making of this candy-coated film. Remember those animated characters Dorothy encounters right after she lands her house on the Wicked Witch of the West? Some even say The Wizard of Oz is cursed due to all kinds of strange happenings on set. However, few tales are as tall as those told by The Wizard of Oz munchkins. In this video, we dig deep into cinematic history to uncover juicy tidbits and the sordid details surrounding The Wizard of Oz munchkins. So who exactly were the Munchkins? Just as in the original, The Wonderful Wizard of Oz by children's author L. Frank Baum, the Munchkins inhabit a land aptly called Munchkinland. It's one of the first places and they're some of the first people Dorothy encounters on her epic journey through the land of Oz. In the film, the Munchkins were depicted as short in stature. In fact, little people and some children were hired to act as the various Munchkin characters. Most were professional performers or actors already, including a group from Germany called the Singer Midgets. The filming allowed them to flee Germany right at the onset of World War II. The Munchkins were rumored to have behaved badly. In the film, the Munchkins adored Dorothy and did everything they could to help her get a good start on her journey down the yellow brick road. Offset, however, it was a different story altogether. The Munchkin actors all bunked together in the nearby Culver Hotel. According to numerous reports, they spent their downtime getting drunk and engaging in escapades of a sexual nature. Supposedly, one actor was fired because he was so out of control. In his memoir, Judy Garland's ex-husband Sid Luft wrote that the actors who played the Munchkins would also mercilessly harass Dorothy, going so far as to put their hands up her dress. Many Munchkin actors refuted the claims, saying they were salacious rumors born of discrimination against little people. Hey, if you're enjoying this video so far, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to Facts First if you haven't already. And stick around for a lot more about the Munchkins and Wizard of Oz. A Munchkin was thought to have taken their life on set. There was a dark rumor treading the hallowed halls of Hollywood that a Munchkin hanged himself during the production of The Wizard of Oz. There's a scene in the movie where Dorothy and the Scarecrow try to pick some apples. It's there that they run into the Tin Man. They all link arms and head off down the yellow brick road together. According to numerous viewers, there's a dark shadow in the distance that supposedly resembles a little person hanging from a tree. So is there any truth to this rumor? Apparently not, as Snopes reveals the quote-unquote person is nothing more than a bird. Most of the Munchkins were paid less than Toto. Terry the Terrier was rewarded handsomely for his work on The Wizard of Oz, considering he's a canine. Apparently, his trainer pocketed about $125 a week for Terry's stellar performance as Toto. The Munchkins, on the other hand, were paid around $50 a week for all their singing, dancing, acting, and costume wearing. The filming for the Munchkinland scenes took about eight weeks, and many of the actors stayed on in Hollywood afterwards for a bit of sightseeing. One such actor, Margaret Pellegrini, said she felt like the money was great at the time. She said her father worked in a hotel and earned about $5 a week, and she got paid $50. At least one Munchkin ad-libbed his Oz performance. One of the most successful Munchkin actors, Jerry Marin, was renowned for ad-libbing on set. He played the part of the Lollipop Kid, a member of the utterly memorable Lollipop Guild, a trio that has sung and danced their way into the hearts of many a child viewer for generations. Surely you remember when a Lollipop Kid hands his giant lollipop to Dorothy. She gratefully accepts it with a laugh and a smile. Apparently, that was a totally off-the-cuff action on the part of Marin. But the director liked it so much, he told him to keep doing it take after take. And hence, it's become one of the most memorable parts of the movie. Years later, when Marin unveiled the 2006 exhibition of the movie's memorabilia at Washington's Smithsonian Institution, he ad-libbed the scene again, opening his speech with the line, We wish to welcome you to Smithsonian Institute. Munchkin actor Jerry Marin took issue with demeaning legend's title. After filming wrapped, most of the Munchkins left show business behind, but Jerry Marin continued to work as a performer. He had parts in over 60 TV shows and films, and even worked as a stunt double for famous child actors like Ron Howard and Jodie Foster. To put it mildly, Marin wasn't a fan of the rumors that darkened the performances of The Wizard of Oz Munchkins. For one, he hated the label demeaning legends that film critics and the press often used to refer to the Munchkins. Marin also said many of the tales of Munchkin drunkenness and inappropriate behavior stemmed from Judy Garland. He noted in his memoir that Garland wasn't exactly a reliable source of information, given that she was plied with drugs by MGM executives to keep her working. 
To set the record straight, he noted that two specific actors from Germany were simply a bit rowdy one night because they were young, in a new country, and excited to be on set. Munchkinland was almost lethal for some Wizard of Oz actors. Remember that dastardly Wicked Witch of the West? She was the sister of the Wicked Witch of the East, who faced her untimely demise when Dorothy's house landed on her. What you probably remember most about her was her vomit green skin, right? That stuff didn't just look toxic, it turns out it was. Margaret Hamilton, the actor who played the Wicked Witch of the West, suffered from severe second and third degree chemical burns on her hand and face during her quick exit from Munchkinland, right near the beginning of the film. The makeup contained copper, which wasn't understood to be poisonous at the time. Thankfully, it was all removed right after the injury. Judy Garland was given a Munchkin Award. The Wizard of Oz wasn't Judy Garland's first film, but it was the first blockbuster in which she played the lead. And as it turns out, it was the performance of a lifetime. Garland was too young to bag any awards for her performance, so in 1940, the Academy Awards revived their Juvenile Award category, also known as the Juvenile Oscar. The award was created at the 7th Academy Awards to honor a six-year-old Shirley Temple. Garland was the fourth of just 12 child stars to receive this now-defunct award. Because the trophy was a miniature version of the actual Academy Award, she nicknamed it her Munchkin Award. The movie led to the creation of an advocacy group. There were more than 100 little people on the set of Munchkinland, and many of them formed fast friends, remaining so well after filming. Their camaraderie led to the formation of the first activist group for little people. Little People of America, formerly Midgets of America, was founded by actors Billy Barty and Jerry Marin. The initial meeting in 1957 of just 21 people has today morphed into an active advocacy association with more than 8,000 members worldwide. They have 13 districts and 70 chapters across America and provide social events, parent, peer, and medical support, and even scholarships and grants to their members. The Munchkins were recognized on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Unfortunately, it took decades for Hollywood to pay the Munchkins their dues. Thankfully, in 2007, seven Munchkin actors, including Mickey Carroll, Ruth Duccini, Jerry Marin, Margaret Pellegrini, Meinhardt Robb, Carl Slover, and Clarence Swenson, were finally recognized with the 2,352nd star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Now it's time to hear from you. Do you believe any of the nasty rumors still circulating about the little people who played the Munchkins? Let us know in the comments section below. And before you go, make sure you give this video a like and subscribe to Factsverse if you haven't already. Click the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content.